Y'all really, y'all really don't be commenting when I be telling y'all to comment. I don't like that, but I'm gonna let y'all slide. But I really need y'all to leave some comments so that I can do a Q&A video. Because I already have some questions, but I don't want to make a video for only like three or four questions or whatever. So leave me some questions and then I'll answer them um, in a Q&A video. Hey y'all. So today I'm back with another video and I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to make this as quick as possible because I actually have somewhere to be. And I waited till the end of the day to do it. But anyway, so... I know I was telling y'all guys about in like a few videos back before the whole pregnancy announcement um, about me manifesting this job. My career, to me, it was my dream job at the time because I had always wanted to be in the medical field. So that's what I was doing. I've been working so hard to find a job as a medical assistant. And a lot of things had happened over the summertime, which to me, I felt like it was a delay, but I had to keep my faith and know that like whatever was going on at the time, God was gonna work it out for me. And so I finally was blessed with a job as a medical assistant. Now I was actually working front desk at a doctor's office. And when I started working there, you know, like everybody was really nice. Everybody was, it was a different work environment that I was used to. You know, I was used to like, you know, so I thought. Let me backtrack. For the people that don't or haven't been following me for a long time, didn't know that I was actually married. And... I had got married in 2017 and I had been going through a lot with that because the marriage didn't last an entire year. It had only lasted a few months, but we were married more than a year, like a little longer than a year because um, the process of the whole divorce and everything. Okay, y'all went to go be nosy, but Mookie told me to, <laughs> he told me to come back in here. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to mind my business because it's always the nosy people that always get caught up in some mess. Y'all, this don't look like it's matching my skin, but it really do, like in a way. But it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. So back to what I was telling y'all. So, um... When I first started the job, everything was manifested around that time. Like I had got my place. I had got a um, date for my divorce, for my court hearing, for my divorce to be final. So a lot of stuff was going on all in, the, in that one time. And so, um, it's really loud out there, y'all. I'm, I'm so curious of what's going on. But, so, upon me getting there, I had to um, take off of work so that I can go to court. So, that's when they discovered. But, you know, I didn't want them to think that, like, I was going to court for something, like, illegal or, you know, whatever the case is. And I'm a very transparent person. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, you shouldn't tell them your business or, you know, you shouldn't um, put people in your midst, especially like people at your employment. But I'm a very transpersonal person and I am very sensitive, but I don't live my life based off now. I don't live my life based off of how other people want me to live. You know, I do what I want to do when I want to do it. And if I, if you saying something that I don't want to hear, nine times out of 10 is going to be a problem. And that's just me being honest. So, um, I basically, um, I'm just trying to blend all of this out, y'all, because I don't want it to look really cakey. I'm going more for like a natural, full, 
beat, if that makes sense. Like, I want it to look natural, but I still want, like, full coverage, like, full beat. So, um, I basically told the lady that I was going for to get a divorce or whatever. I was happy, shit. I didn't mind telling nobody, I'm getting a divorce, yes, mm-hmm. So, you know, a, little, a lot of questions had sparked after that because, you know, obviously people could tell I'm really young. So, they like, what happened? You know, like, you're so young. And, you know, prior to them knowing about my divorce, well, no, it wasn't prior to them knowing my divorce. It was kind of like after um, the divorce was actually, so it's, it's, it sounds confusing, but like I was planning to have a baby. Like I was talking about one half to have a baby, like, but my divorce wasn't final at the time. And I just kept like in my head, I knew that I didn't want to be pregnant exactly like it would be times where it's like i had to i had a bump right there i don't know if y'all can see that but i just want to like cover that up so, so i just put some concealer right there but um i wanted to have a baby but then it, 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 it'll be times where it's like okay reality check i i'm still married legally to somebody and i don't want to conceive a child legally married to somebody else so you know, they just had all this stuff to say, like, well, you know, how long have y'all been dating? And, um, what, I think you should wait. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're getting a divorce, you were married, and now you're talking about having a baby, and it's a lot. And, you know, everybody always try to scare you from having a child, which I do understand because it is a lot of work. Everybody try to scare you from having a baby because they're like, oh, it's a lot your body changes, your mood changes, and you know, you never know if y'all are work and blah, 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 blah. So, to skip forward, the day, the day I went to court, now mind you, at this point, I gave up the fact that I was trying to have a child. Like, I kind of like threw it out the window. I was like, well, I'm going to wait on God. If he sees fit, then it'll happen. If not, I won't worry about it, you know? Because I had a lot of pregnancy scares at the time, like where I thought I was pregnant. And then I actually wouldn't be pregnant. And so it, it's it's like, it's a, it, it was a relief, but at the same time, it was a bummer as well. So I'm using this um translucent powder i'm just like going over some of these areas where it's usually like really oily don't ask me what i'm doing y'all i'm just doing shit because i know it, it just turned out okay <laughs> the day i went to court to get the divorce or whatever i actually had made a doctor's appointment because i wasn't feeling good for over a period of time and everybody kept saying Oh my God, what if you're pregnant? And I kept saying, I don't know. I'm not going to think about it. If it, if it is, I'm like, it, that would be nothing but God at that time. And I was like, it'll be crazy if I manifested my pregnancy at the same time. Because I kept, remember, I kept saying, I didn't want to be pregnant and married to somebody else. So I was like, well, if I find out after the after my divorce is finalized, I feel like that would be nothing but God manifested what I truly what my true heart's desire was and that was to be um not necessarily single but single <laughs> and not you know married to somebody um when I was conceiving a child so um of course everybody felt like I needed the little intervention because I was going down the wrong path in life trying to have a baby you know, or whatever the case is. And I was just so young and didn't feel like I was just making the wrong choices in life. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I went to the doctor's office after the court hearing, after everything was finalized. 
I went to the doctor's office and lo and behold, I was pregnant. After that, I had text my coworker, which in her head, she feel like she's my manager, which she really not my manager. <laughs> she's just somebody out at the job that does interviews and has seniority, but she's nobody's boss, honestly. But she felt like she was. I text her right after right after I found out and I had the text messages I'm going to put them up actually and I told her you know I basically told her about um me being pregnant and she was really mad like she in the messages you could see like she's trying to play it off like she's joking but in all reality she was very serious so after that, oh, I'm for, I'm forgetting to tell y'all. So one of the girls who got hired in after me, she's a year older than me. So she's actually 24, I'm 23. She's 24 and she's pregnant. But she was pregnant upon them hiring her. They didn't know until after she got hired that she was pregnant. So another thing that was really a problem was the fact that now not only do they have two new girls they both pregnant so of course they tried to dictate my life and was trying to tell me that I shouldn't have got pregnant um and it was just after that it was just a lot of favoritism and a lot of bullying in a way. I'm trying not to use the word bullying. It was a lot of um, just favoritism that was going on at work. And so it got so bad to the point. Like I remember one day, I was in my first trimester. I was only like, I don't know, probably like nine weeks in at this point. And you know, I'm trying to think. Did I did I conceal? I mean, did I like? Did I? Okay, I'm I'm so thrown off right now. Like I'm like I didn't even put my my concealer on, but cause I'm like I'm contouring, but I don't remember doing this. And if I did this, I'm gonna be so pissed that I'm doing this twice. But I honestly don't feel like I did this. But. <laughs> y'all bear with me this is why i don't talk and do stuff because my attention span is terrible i don't feel like i did this but anyways so one of the ladies at the job i was really sick it was my lunch break and i was in the office and i had my head down and i remember like crying because my emotions was like everywhere I remember crying because I wanted to go to sleep and I couldn't so she made a smart comment to me now mind you at this point this is everyday thing somebody's always like saying something smart to me and just like kind of like throwing shade at me because I'm pregnant and they didn't want me to be pregnant because I was a good worker at the time and they just feel like uh oh, you know, we didn't try so hard to get this position filled and now here you two come and y'all want to get, y'all want to be pregnant. And they felt like I had control over mine because I wasn't pregnant at the time. Excuse me? Like, I don't care what job I'm working. If I want to be pregnant, I can be pregnant. It's my life. You know, y'all are all of the children of their own, whether they're adopted or they carry them themselves they all have everything going on my thing is it's time for me to live my life as well and that's what i'm gonna do i have a steady job i can do my job whether i'm pregnant or not and it's nobody's business but mine it's like if i choose to tell y'all what's going on in my life cool cool beans but don't tell me how to live my life and don't tell me that i can't be pregnant or don't make It'll probably when y'all do find out that I am pregnant. 
So it was a lot of a lot of bullshit going on. And I'm not gonna excuse my language because it was real life pure bullshit that was going on. And it got to the point where they were basically excluding the other girl from doing a lot of work, which she was capable of doing. She didn't make it a big deal. Yeah, she did some days where she'd just be like, this is, this is too much. And it wasn't because she was pregnant. It was just because they had an old system. Like nowadays you hardly see jobs with paper charting in the medical field. They still have paper charting. Like I'm talking old school, old school. So it was a lot of physical work. It felt like we was working at a plant. And so they were trying to make it seem like, oh, well, you know, Demita, you're going to have to do all the hard work and she's going to just have to do mainly the sit down job. Fuck that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's, that's not how this is about to go. Because at the end of the day, if y'all feel like she's incapable of doing the job, then y'all need to find somebody to replace her or have her do something else. You know, but y'all not going to have me doing all the work because she's pregnant, I'm pregnant too. And right now I'm at the harder stage in my pregnancy because she's further along and it's easier her it's easier for her to do certain things because she's over her sickness and everything like that i'm in the beginning stages where i'm always sick i'm always like tired and everything like that so i wasn't making excuses i never came in there making excuses but they could physically see like okay damn some mornings because I took over the mornings. I, I was going in at 6 30 a.m. because the other girl didn't want to get up so early, but I wasn't pregnant at the time, so it was okay. But now that I'm pregnant, it's like okay, I'm still coming in early, I'm not making excuses. I still showed up every day on time, but a lot of stuff that I would have did at home now I'm doing at work, like getting sick, throwing up, you know what I'm saying, like stuff like that. And so the lady started, um getting like really nasty like after a while because she felt like I don't know like I don't know if she was really just that mad because she just like oh my god like basically I feel like I'm about to have to start all over with the hiring process because I have two pregnant girls or whatever but she started getting really nasty with like the both of us but a lot of her attention was going towards me but I wasn't understanding why. Like, I understand, like, yes, I did have control over not getting pregnant or getting pregnant or not. And you didn't have control over what this other girl did because she was already pregnant when you hired her. But she would, like, she would, like, leave notes on my desk. And she left notes on the other girl's desk, too, sometimes. But she left, she would leave, like, notes on my desk, like... Mind you, I work front desk. I work receptionist. So, y'all tell me in the comments, when you go somewhere, you see a receptionist, what they usually doing when you walk in? They sitting down in the chair, right? They're answering phones. They're booking appointments. Whatever task they gotta do, that's typically what they're doing. She would try to make it seem like this is not a sit down job. She was like leaving. No, I even have a picture of that note she left on my desk as well. She's like, this is not a sit down job. Blah, 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 blah. Like just leaving a lot of nasty little letters on my desk. And, ooh, I don't like when makeup, oh, it's in my edits. I'm gonna just, but I was sick one day and the lady was like, um, that's why you should have waited to get pregnant. Bitch, what? So I'm like, to win, because now I'm getting, I'm, now I'm getting attitude because I'm sick of people saying smart ass comments to me every day because they feel like I shouldn't be pregnant. When in all reality, it's nobody's problem but mine. Nobody's taking care of this child but me. You know what I'm saying? And my boyfriend so i'm not understanding why y'all have so much smart shit to say when y'all already of age and got 
y'all shit going on, whatever the fuck y'all doing. So, um, she's like, she said, until such and such had her baby and then you could add your, I'm, first of all, I don't run my life according to anybody else. I'm not about to not get pregnant when we wanted to have a child because somebody else that I work with is pregnant. What? And then who are y'all? Because if I go tell the doctor, it's gonna be a problem. So now it's to the point where it's like, I'm coming to work and I'm kind of like on eggshells already upon my arrival. Like, it's kind of like, I don't really want to be bothered. I'm just here to do my job and leave. And so I remember one day, this was like going towards the end of my employment there. And I remember one day, the girl that was pregnant, she came in at 10 o'clock and she didn't have a chair to sit in, but I'm sitting in a chair, I'm doing my little refill, doing my job for the day. And she goes into this other room to get a chair. So the lady, she like snatches the chair from her, like, no, 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 this is not, it's too many chairs out here. It's, it's only two chairs out here, how is it? It's a nice little front desk space. How is it too many chairs? Like, not like, you're, you're on bullshit at this point end up having to get up to um do something when i walk away and i come back she gave the girl my chair that i was sitting in first of all according to you this is not a sit down job if anybody needs to be sitting down it's me or her or both of us or whatever the case is, not, not me or her, but like me and her. Why are you sitting now? If it's not sit down. If it's not a sit down job, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make sure it's all blended. Oh, um, got like, you know, two different shades, whatever. So I'm, ooh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I wanted to show y'all this. It's so cute. I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna get this kind of stuff. But, um, she's like, um, when I come back, whatever, I'm walking down the hall and I can hear her telling the girl, like, yeah, such and such, I just don't want nobody to feel like, you know, they um, should be sitting down all day or whatever. whatever. First of all, it's impossible for us to sit down all day. The job is too, is too demanding for us to stand. I mean, for us to sit down all day because, mind you, it's paper churning. <laughs> so we have to constantly get up and pull charts or whatever the case is so my thing is i stood up for from 10 o'clock to 12 30 i stood up on my feet and i was doing so much work that my stomach was cramping so bad and like my feet like everything on my body at this point was hurting so bad because I wasn't able to sit down and her and the other girl was sitting down. And it was, it, at this point, I skipped a lot of stuff that was going on. But at this point, it was so bad that when I went on break, I text Mookie, which is my boyfriend. I'm like, I'm crying right now because I'm trying so hard not to work. I mean, not to walk out of here. Because prior to then, like, I didn't tell y'all, when I would be scheduled, now mind you, I work 6.30. If you work, if, if I'm opening, I'm first to leave. Because I shouldn't be closing if I'm the opener. She's coming in at 10 o'clock, she should be closing. You know, she should be leaving at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, whatever time the doctor is finished and she's done doing whatever she's doing. There's been days a lot of days actually where I get there at 6.30, it's three o'clock, 3.30, and she's leaving before me, so now I'm forced to close, but nobody says nothing, it's okay for her to do that. Excuse me? So one day I'm there 
and I'm um, closing and it's like six o'clock. Mind you, I'm not going to leave a lot of work for me to do the next day because I'm the opener. So whatever work is left is what I have to do when I come back. So of course, I'm not going to leave a lot of work because that's going to be more work for me to do in the morning. I'd rather stay late and get it done and come back in the morning and have less work to do. You know, because I'm usually sicker in the morning than I am later in the evening. So that was another thing. So, you know, Mookie, like, I, and I'm the type of person, like, I'm very blunt. So a lot of things I avoid saying because I don't want to like to take nothing the wrong way. Or I don't want me to say anything too harsh and it's taken the wrong way or from or I'm coming off disrespectful or whatever the case is. So he's like, well, you know, if you don't say nothing, it's gonna to continue to happen. You know, you have to put your foot down. And I'm like, yeah, but at the same time, I, I'm, I'm accustomed to how these people are at the time. The lady that hired me, she will literally stop other people from helping us at the front desk which is all a it's a team job you didn't want to work or she wanted to work us so bad that she stopped people from helping us she was saying no what are you doing why are you helping them put that down let them do it they need to know how to do that we know how to do it motherfucker it's just a lot of work it's busy it's the beginning of the year it well at the time it was the end of the year and then the beginning of the year was coming along so obviously we are busier because you know a lot of people like to get their end of the year appointments their annuals before their insurance ends but then in the beginning of the year everybody will try to rush in to get appointments and blood work done and everything like that so yes we are very busy so a lot of stuff we can't even get done until the end of the day i actually took it upon myself one day to go and say something about what was going on you know, just, you know, how I was being treated. Next thing you know, she's in the office. She has a little attitude or whatever. You know, you can tell somebody kind of got an attitude with her, but I'm not really paying her no mind because we so busy. So I'm not really paying her no attention. Next thing you know, I'm getting pulled into the office with the doctor and her. And he lets me go. Mm-hmm. Y'all, he didn't fire me. He like, you're a good worker. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we got a chance to work with you and you could experience a busy office and everything, but it's just not working out. Hmm. I knew that was going to happen. The moment you go and you tell on the higher up, to the higher up, because she just like a person, she feels like if there's any problem, y'all come and address it to me. Mind you, me and her didn't already had too many conversations, you know, because she, she came to me a few days prior and was like asking me, like, are you going to be able to work pregnant? Haven't I? Haven't I been doing my job? But see, they, they were showing favoritism so much to the other girl. And days where she was supposed to be closing, she wasn't actually closing. I was. So a lot of the credit was going towards her. And they had no idea it was even me. You know? But see, I'm not the tattletale type of person. I'm not the type of person that's going to be like, you know, when somebody addressed something and it actually wasn't me. I'm not the type of person that's going to be like, you're addressing the wrong person. No, that was actually her. I did my job. No, I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm not a kid. <laughs> and I'm not gonna get into all of that with them. And so he wrote me a check. He worked me a, he wrote me a two week check. And you know, I was off. So but I didn't even tell the day that I was standing on my feet for like two and a half hours because they took my chair away from me and gave it to the other girl. Y'all, I was crying. And I came home. I got in bed. And this was the weekend where I was actually supposed to do another um, 
weekly update. And my body had been just so drained and wore out from the job that I wasn't posting on YouTube because I just really needed to, every day I came home, I was crashing, just getting in the bed. Crashing. You know, obviously this happens all the time. People, they work at these jobs. A lot of people, they go for these jobs and they don't get hired because, you know, they're pregnant and obviously, Nobody really wants to work with a pregnant girl. Nobody really wants pregnant women working for them and everything like that. So we see this all the time, but it really hurt it to know like I was really targeted and became a victim to some bullshit because my coworkers that had been there for over five to 20 years felt like I shouldn't have got pregnant. And so they made my day, my job a living hell. And they got me fired. Because my thing is, it's not like, oh, okay, well, we don't, you know, so you, you don't have a legitimate reason for letting me go. But if the doctor, he doesn't work the floor. He doesn't know what's going on. So if she's the lady that like hires and everything like that, she goes to the doctor and she said, it's not working out. She's not working out with this. I don't see her as a fit. He has no choice but to let me go. He can't sit there and say, well, no, I have to keep her. No, you know, so if he, if she goes to her, so she did in a way have power over me, but I just felt like it was very, very dumb. But at the same time, I was relieved because at the end of the day, I know God would never shut any doors for me. And I took like a week off. And guess what? I started working again somewhere else. And I didn't even have to go through an interview process. I didn't have to do nothing. I just simply text this lady that I used to work for. It was a company. It's a home care for, um, job. You know, it pays off to have a good heart and to be a good worker. And she was so ecstatic that I was deciding to come back because I had to walk away from a job because I had lost my vehicle. And they used to love me there. And when I told her that I wanted to come back, she had me kind of naked there, y'all, to fill out my paperwork again. And I was working that same night. Or not that same night, but the next day, the very next day. So it was like at the end of the day, no matter how, how hard people try to ruin you, if you serve God and you keep your faith, there's never nothing that he's incapable of doing for you. And so, yo, I had to let y'all, I knew they didn't give a fuck about me being pregnant. Cause they didn't want me to be pregnant. They cared more about the job and um, and I would, that was my biggest fear, you know, because I see people losing their kids all the time. I have friends, like over four or five of my friends that lost their they kids. And it's like, I don't want to ever have to know what that feels like to lose a child. And just for it to take, took me, it took me so long to even conceive. I don't know what the case is. Like, I know I'm in good health or whatever. But I honestly don't want to risk it for a job. Like, I feel like my life and my baby's life is more important than any job. If I would quit, I would be happy to sit on my ass the rest of my pregnancy if I feel like I would put in a situation again to have to worry about if I'm going to be able to carry my baby full term or not. So... That wraps up this video. Y'all like it? Let me change the setting. I'm getting a little better, y'all. If y'all remember my old little makeup tutorials, they was like hit. Oh, let me turn this down some.
Oh, don't. Lashes was sticking together. Um, oh, before I go, if y'all not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If y'all made it through to the end, y'all are some motherfucking warriors because I know I talk a lot. My, my mind be everywhere, but um, leave some questions for me because I'm going to do a Q&A, if not this week, next week, because I, I need, you know, a lot of, y'all really, y'all really don't be commenting when I be telling y'all to comment. I don't like that, but I'm going to let y'all slide. But I really need y'all to leave some comments so that I can do a Q&A video. Because I already have some questions, but I don't want to make a video for only like three or four questions or whatever. So leave me some questions and then I'll answer them um, in a Q&A video. And I also have another update to post as well, y'all. Because my stomach is getting so far. So, um, yeah, so now I'll see y'all soon.